world, you have a very simple equation. That's, that's just a straight line uh, that you learn in course of statistics, how to predict. So that's the, it's a bias that they use if you come to a straight line. Uh, that's, that's the bias. The bias is, is where you touch the, the Y curve. And the, the, this, y, this, this one here is a measure of this slope here. So that's very simple. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is very simple because here I'm teaching how to use a ProJS. I'm not concerned about uh, all the complexity, all the details. I'm teaching. So the best way to learn, in my opinion, is to learn as simple as possible. I mean, I, I, again, I, might, I have a course on TensorFlow.js for detecting diabetes. This course is a little bit more complex. So if you are interested to learn more about complexity on, on TensorFlow.js, but this course specifically, I want to keep think, I want to keep the things simple. I want to keep it simple, I, can, I want to keep it straight through. So uh, they're called, here, they're called learning parameter. On a straight line uh, regression, they're called uh, alpha, uh, it is called intersection, but here, they're called a, a learning parameter, which is just a different of notation. So before you go on, let me say some word in defense of the simple models. So how useful are simple models? That's a theory that has been uh, created by Daniel Kahneman, uh, in which the, he, he has studied, he said he's a Nobel Prize, he has studied the simplicity of the model. You have this idea that simple models are useless. I even myself had this idea, but one thing that I have learned from him that it's not always the case. Sometimes very simple model can do a lot. So, uh, of, uh, uh, that's from the book, a book of TensorFlow.js. I found this part uh, interesting because the author said, of course, there is no reason to expect that a kernel, which is the one that you did, uh, the LA model will read something useful when the kernel buys as a random. Uh, he's talking about uh, how artificial network start. They start randomly. However, the work of the Neil Kahneman showed the opposite, because uh, here I'm talking about not complex problem. I'm talking about uh, decision process. When you use a model to take a decision, so he showed his work that when human are taking decision, even random model can be better than a human, which is a kind of surprise I have to say. So what, what I'm trying to say that even though this model is very simple, it can still be better than a human when you use to take decisions. So that can be a selling point for you. I have been using this kind of argumentation on my on my articles, on my blogs, because uh, you have this common sense that simple model, random model, they are bad. But when compared to human, they are able to sometimes to overcome the human way. They call it a mechanical versus clinical judgment, which is the theory of the Neil Kahneman. So that's how you calculate a linear regression. As you can see, in the case of linear regression, you do have the equation. You, that's the way you calculate the, the bias, then you calculate the inclination of the curve. That's not a linear, uh, linear, 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 uh, that's not a, a learning machine. However, one thing I must say, the theory behind is the same. How do you calculate this equation here? They are calculated in the same idea. I mean, yes. the only difference is that on the artificial linear network, you are doing the learning process use a kind of numerical approach. You are doing like a back propagation. Then you are making interaction, interaction. Uh, you are comparing the error, then you say that you are done or not. In this specific case, they, they, they do the same process using uh, error, but they do, a, 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 they do a minimization using calculus. As you can see, the theory is the same. But one, you have the analytical equation that you can read down in, your, in a piece of paper, uh, the other one, you would have to, you have to do it step by step. I mean, uh, there are two different ways for it to complete the regression. I always advise you to use this one. Uh, here I'm using artificial network because again, I'm teaching you how to use this project. So the best way to learn is by the simplest example possible. But in a, in a real scenario, I totally recommend that you use a package. Even uh, if you look for NPM, uh, NPM package of statistics, I was able to find some of them. So. I, I don't recommend you generally to use artificial network TensorFlow.js for linear regression because they already they already have what you like to call analytical solution. They already have a theory behind that's much more powerful than you use a kind of a algorithm that you do not know do not know if you converge. In a specific case, it's always going to work. It's go it's always going to converge. You are sure that you're going to find a straight line because that's a theory that was proven mathematically. On the case of artificial network, you never know what's going to happen. So I do not advise you to use linear regression if you have this option of using 
this classical equation.